Have you experienced stretching the body parts because of itchiness and pain from bug bites? And it makes you feel better? But what is the theory behind this? Mm, this is pain gate theory. Pain gate theory first proposed in 1965 by Ronald Melzack and Patrick Wall. This theory suggests that the spinal cord contains a neurological gate that add a block pain signals or allow them to continue on the brain. The theory offers a physiological explanation for the previously observed effect of psychological on pain perception. Painful sensation can be reduced by activating a non-painful sensation. For example, when you experience a knee pain because of fall down the stairs, your mom will put some ice at the knee to reduce the pain. Let me explain how the process happened. Signal are transmitted from the periphery to CNS by the lightly myelinated A data fiber or non myelinated C fiber which make up as primary neuron. The primary neuron synapse with the secondary neuron in substantial gelitinosa of the spinal cord. And then the second neuron cross to the opposite side of the spinal cord and ascend contralaterally all the way to the thalamus by the way of spinal thalamic tract. The synapses with the tertiary neuron that extend from the thalamus to the postcentral gyrus of the parietal lobe. When the signal reaches this area, in the parietal lobe, the individual becomes consciously aware that they are in pain. Transmission to the brain can be interrupted at the level of the substantial gelitinosa, which act as a gate. It happens when non-painful stimuli such as cool sensation activate penetrant corpuscle located in the dermis of the skin. It can be done when signal of cool sensation is transmitted by the DCML or dorsal column medial meningeal system. DCML pathway can inhibit the pain signal. Let's see how it happened in substantia gelitinosa. When the CML activated by the cool sensation, it activates inhibitory neurons. The inhibitory neurons inhibit pain signal by releasing inhibitory neuron transmitter that lead to hyperpolarization of the secondary neuron. The result from this mechanism, less pain signal from the primary neuron will be sent to the brain because of Hyperpolarization of the secondary neuron. The application of this theory usually used in occupational therapy setting. Paraffin bath, cleotherapy, dance, and also hot or cold pack. This is general procedure of each intervention in clinical application. This is evidence of pain gate theory and the intervention above. Okay, for conclusion. Pain gate theory is a mechanism for how pain is reduced by activating a non-painful sensation. Mechanism happen at the level of the substantia gelitinosa, the non-painful sensation transmitted by the DCML. DCML pathway can inhibit the pain signal. Hyperpolarization of the secondary neuron happen and interrupt pain signal, so it will reduce the pain. Occupational therapies use tense, paraffin bar, fluidotherapy, hot and cold pack to reduce patient pains because we trust that pain can be reduced by activating a non painful sensation. It is an important advance of previous simple response theory of pain. It introduced a role of psychological and describes a multi dimensional process rather than a simple linear one. The theory has received several criticism, 
Like for example, what do there is evidence illustrating, illustrating the, the mechanism to increase and decrease pain perception, the location of the gate set is still unknown. Another critique of the theory is that although the input from the site of physical injury may be moderated or mediated by experience, and psychological factor, the models still assume an organic basis of pain. Despite this criticism, the gate control theory of pain still the inspiration of for the dominant theory of pain today.